In today's random spot, we're going to be having a look at the Monster Energy Import Energy. I suppose it really doesn't have a name. It just says Monster Energy Import. There was actually two uh, varieties, two flavors, if you were, um, of this energy drink. There was a blue one as well, but I think it was just the same energy drink, uh, just low, uh, low sugar, I guess, sugar-free. <laughs> I'm not certainly going to go with sugar-free. Come on. You guys come here to expect me to drink these things, get hyper, do silly things. Generally, I don't do very many silly things when I shoot energy drinks, but let's make it exciting, shall we? The can itself is very large. Very large indeed. It's about as long as a shoe. I certainly don't encourage anyone to start drinking from their shoe. That would be very disgusting. But the can itself is about the length of a shoe. Um, it also features an eagle on the front. I feel like I'm joining some elite, like a university, the University of Monster Energy. Could you imagine? That would be one university this fella certainly wouldn't mind enlisting in, or signing up for. Um, the standard read-up, as with most energy drinks, recommended use or purpose developed for periods of increased mental and physical exertion. Helps temporarily restore mental alertness or wakefulness when experiencing fatigue or drowsiness. Drink one, here we go, drink one to 1.3 cans per day as needed. I would certainly not encourage anybody to drink this shoe length size can of energy drink. I would probably say don't drink more than one of these. One is probably all you need. One certainly will be all that this guy needs. I won't be drinking more than one of these. I'll be bouncing all over the walls. But the can itself, very cool. Eagle with a crest. Of course, these standard Monster Energy claw marks. Who cares, Spot? You want to know what the energy drink tastes like? Of course you do. Let's bring in a glass. Move this over. Also, something I want to point out, too, is that the energy drink is sporting, if I take the little label off here, is sporting the time capsule style of uh, opening at the top there. So instead of the pssst, we've instead got the little turn dial time capsule. Something I commented on before, I'll say here, still kind of looks like a one-eyed clown. I don't like clowns. Anyone else don't like clowns? Oh, I don't like clowns. I think what really did it for me... Oh, can you hear the fizz? There we go. A little pssst noise. A very satisfying noise to come out of an energy drink. I think what did it for me with clowns was probably the movie It. I don't know what everyone else thinks, but I certainly don't like clowns. I think Pennywise and It certainly did it for me. Ugh. They float. <laughs> oh, Tim Curry, you are creepy. He doesn't really do much anymore, does he, Tim Curry? I know he did that supposed spin-off of Faulty Towers. Didn't really last. I think also there was a Faulty Towers with Whoop Whoopi Goldberg. That also didn't last. It would appear that Faulty Towers uh, just has not done well in the States. I know they've tried several attempts to uh, bring in Faulty Towers and start uh, selling it to the, the North American market. And I guess the formula itself works better on a British, uh, on the British side of things than perhaps in North America. Faulty Towers. That's a good show, Faulty Towers. I think we'll Several episodes. I think there's only about 12 episodes, Faulty Towers. Great show, though. Manuel. The left, excuse me, he's from Barcelona. <laughs> Did you also know that the guy that was in the Faulty Towers episode, Waldorf Salad, the real jerk of a guy, he was also in Empire Strikes Back. Did you know that? What are we even here for? Any, anybody? Right. The energy drink. Seems to me like I need some wakefulness. Let's pour some energy drink here. 
Oh, that's delightful. Let me just put the glass can down here for a second. Product placement. I want to bring your attention to the urine-colored energy drink that I've just poured. It's a delightful shade of urine. Very yellow. Now, if you were to say, take this to your doctor, I, I'm sure the doctor would say, really, you need to change up your diet. Uh, urine really should not be this color. Generally, if you have fluorescent urine, you usually would either mean you're radioactive or you, have to, you, you take too many vitamins. In this case, I would probably say, whatever you're taking, lay off of it. That seems like pretty sick-looking look, urine. After all this urine talk, who, who's even interested in energy drinks anymore? But... For the sake of this review and the sake of you guys watching this, we're going to give this a try. The Monster Energy Import. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Let's hope it doesn't taste like urine. Hmm. <sighs> well, there is a slight variation to it, but really at the end of the day, it tastes like Red Bull. Not quite Red Bull. It's a little sweeter than Red Bull. It's got a little more of that citrus, what do you want to call it, sprinkling, sprinkling of citrus in it. It's not bad though, but certainly it is a very large can. A very large, large can. At any rate, today's random spot, we were having a look at the Monster Import Energy Drink. This guy also rambled quite a bit in this review. At any rate, thank you for watching as you always do. Stay tuned for more random spots on the way. And I will see you guys next time. Boy. For a thousand videos, now that's dedication. It's more than a video, that's a creation that he is making. From experience, here he is. You're curious of what his appearance is. Serious, yet he makes it fun to watch. A lot of reviewers are delirious, while well, some get props. When the demand is hot, the spot's not a man to flop. Respects the fans who watch, couldn't guess the next random spot. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army is now taking over. I bet you're confused. Check the reviews. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army.